Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as a ops engineer. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can set up the Apache Sistemi Kafka in craft mode. And regarding the theory, I'll edit all this detail, but we're not going to cover the details regarding what is Apache Kafka and what is the Kafka wrapped metadata mode. All right. So theory I've already edited. We are going to do some practical hands-on work. So guys, in past, I've already shown you how we can set up the Bitnami Kafka uh, cluster set up with, you know, Helm uh, along with Zookeeper. Uh, but with craft mode we don't need zookeeper and it has certainly more advantages as compared to zookeeper so i've added the theory regarding that the benefits and the features more security more powerful than uh, you know if we added zookeeper with that so anyway let's begin what i've done guys uh, as usual i've added a repo and i've updated the existing repo for you guys and we are going to uh, set up the apache kafka wrap mode so let's begin guys so uh, what i've done guys uh, i set up my kind cluster and in that kind cluster uh, we are going to um, set up uh, our Kafka, right? So let's begin. So guys, what you need to do uh, regarding the Kafka wrap mode. So simply you need to copy this. Uh, I mean, if you want to clone this repo, you can do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, simply copy or create a file with this, and I'm going to use the existing command, which I've already shown, right? So let's do that. So guys, I've taken a shell, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one file here, right? So let me create one directory. I'm going to call this directory Kafka. Here into Kafka, and I'm going to create the same file with the name, right? So let me do that. I'm going to use Vim editor, and you need to do exactly the same. And simply, I'm going to copy these files. Regarding the you know values, it is pretty much the values I've added the link of the official Bitnami Kafka Elm chart, right? And this is the graph enable true. I'm going to use three replicas, zookeeper enable set to false, and rest of the stuff, uh, stuff is pretty much, uh, you know, self-explanatory, right? So instead of doing that, I'm going to use nano. I'll use the same command, replace it with nano, paste it, and control X, save it. Yeah, this one I'll show, this one is created. Yeah. Okay, now what guys I'm going to do, I'm going to show you kubectl hit nodes. Uh, I'm inside the container and uh, this is also uh, available in LAN. So this is the container. So anyway, uh, regarding uh, the Chasm uh, Docker container, I've already created a lot of videos. You can watch those videos, right? So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to uh, use this Helm command. Uh, Helm icon and namespace is going to be the Kafka, right? This uh, namespace is not um, available. It is going to create that and right? And we are going to set this cluster ID and set the persistence size to eight gigs, right? And uh, create service count, rollback count. So, guys, uh, regarding the version, uh, I guess this is the latest version. So, let me show you some of the stuff what you need to do before apply this command. So, if you scroll it up, I've added all this command, and you need to do first of all, you need to do repo ls, right? If you don't have this repo uh, installed, uh, you can do that. So, simply, I'm going to do uh, do one more time. I'm going to add this repository, right? Right. It says already added. I just make this initially. Then you need to do repo update because we are going to use the latest chart and I'm going to show you the values as well. So I'm updating the repositories, which already I have in my you know um, container. And then I'm going to look for the versions, right? Simply you need to do copy and paste these commands. It will list all the versions. So I'm going to scroll it down till the start. So 2690, right? So if I scroll at the bottom, two six nine zero guys. This is the version we are going to use. So you need to simply copy this guy. I mean, copy this from here. I've done that. Let's try to install. Let me press Control C and Control L, and now you will have a better visibility. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to create this Kafka release. So it says Kafka values dot ml is not available. So I'm going to simply uh, move this guy to graph to this. Right over here. Move this or rename this to this. So I'm going to apply the same command again. And what it does, it is going to create that particular release. So uh, instead of watching that, I'm going to open this in lens. What it does, it is going to create the namespace Kafka. So shortly, you will see the pods are going to be populated. So if I navigate to this area, releases, it is going to install that particular release, right? So we need to wait for a while. And 
you see uh, it is doing the work and i'm going to show you all the stuff you see this release is now available and deployed regarding the persistent volumes you need to check that eight gigs is uh, you know available and persistent uh, claim is found so you see pods are already spin up it will take uh, some time uh, regarding the pods uh, to be stable right but definitely what we're going to do we are going to check the logs of pod as well okay so uh, let's let's open the logs of each pod you see all the pods are now stable right but what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to open the logs here let me remove the terminal so so that's how we can access this right so i'm going to show you the trick here and if you're a developer or software engineer or devops or sre right so uh, the best way to get uh, used to this is to have a ui and for the ui we are going to use akhq utility right so let me do that so that's what we are going to do uh you need we need to focus on these command the output so we install the helm chart and it's it provides some output as well so if you scroll it down it provides a password username is by default is the user one and what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, let's say copy this particular command like the uh, password is equal to be let's say this is the variable right and it has been copied okay we are we have some spacing issue and so let's do that still here and let's try to face it again it's not work seems like it's not working so I'm going to use them. I'm going to say command dot txt, right? So let's do that. Or I've already added the command. You can use this approach or just get rid of this command, right? So what I'm going to do, scroll it up, same command, and I've added some of the outputs here. So you need to simply copy this right till here. So we just want to make sure we don't have any uh, I mean, spacing issue. Let's try to paste this guy, right? And if I do echo password, so this is the password, right? So, guys, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to create one file, right? And the file name is going to be akh values.yml. Rather, I'm going to go for this akh secure values.yml. So, let's try to create this nano, this file. And what do you need to do? Simply copy and paste it. But definitely, we are going to do an update regarding the username so guys uh, this is the ssc 246 um, i mean as password we are not going to update that what we need to or where we need to update is this area right and simply navigate to this section username is user one right but definitely that this is not the password right so what we are going to do we are going to get rid of this and i'm going to paste it so i need to exit don't save it I need to copy this guy in fact first i'm going to take one more shell into my container docker exec interactive shell right sandbox that shell sudo su feed into kafka right and now i'm going to Okay, this password is not exported, right? So let's do this way. Okay. Copy this particular command. And let's get to this. And I'm going to paste the file here, right? So guys, now what we need to do, scroll it up. Scroll it till end. Okay, simply type the password what you you will get from that uh, output of the help right so i've done the pasting right so just double check that xyp okay Add the contents. Okay. 
and what you need to do scroll back and try to run this particular command in your Kubernetes. So I'm going to simply try this command here. First, uh, APH utility, uh, what you need to do, you need to download this. So what I'm going to do, uh, okay. uh, regarding the APH queue, I'll edit command. Okay, clone, let me show you the command. Okay, so let me copy this particular guy and download this. Sorry, this is the DBC one, my bad, and I need to clone. Clone this guy. So guys, what it does, it is going to download uh, this ATHP locally and let it download. And once it is downloaded, we will try this, that particular command again, right? So let's let it download. So guys, uh, download is completed. So let me try that particular command again. So I've already added all the paths uh, in that command. So uh, this command, look for this value, okay? Ekh values dot yaml and I need to simply either update this or simply um, call this ekh secure. So let me type this ekh secure. You need to do the same to make sure that uh, this file uh, should be available. So guys, it is um, installing the ekh view, but uh, it will not work uh, as I already shown you in my past videos. Uh, what you need to do. You need to make sure you need to update the version which is working with it. So let it install. But what we are going to do, we are going to then update. So I'm going to go to the cell and I'm going to cd to aphq, right? And then navigate to hell, right? Do ls here. Okay. cd to aphq. I'm going to update the values of chart. And the tested position, guys, is from my side is uh, 0 0.23.0. So let's try to use that, right? Thus, you need to do this part. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rerun this particular command again. So let it run. So let me put this guy a little bit shorter and you see, Kafka EKHP already installed, but we have uh, updated the version, or you can say downgraded the version. So it is going to remove the previous version and install the one which we are looking for for the web UI of the Kafka management. So guys, uh, what we have done here, actually we want to use the UI to manage our Kafka cluster. Definitely you want to do that. And uh, this that gives you a better visibility and understanding and the better control management. So secure here, I mean, you will see once I do the port forwarding and uh, do uh, writing the credential, you will see uh, the credential for admin I'm going to use. Uh, the admin has the admin administrative privileges and the reader, if you have multiple teams, the reader can only read the topics. Uh, the reader cannot uh, create uh, anything. Anyway, you see it is uh, terminating the old pod and let it terminate. Okay. So it is going to be shortly removed. So see, it has been removed. What I'm going to do, I'm going to scroll it down and uh, navigate to the network services. And uh, here you see, we have AKHQ. I'm going to do the port forwarding. So let me do that to any random port. So guys, I've done the port forwarding. You see, this is the local, local random port. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add admin and that user is admin and the password is admin. Let's try to log in with this user. Definitely, I'm not going to save anything here. Let's uh, navigate to this section. See, we have logged in with the uh, uh, login uh, with our Kafka cluster and successfully what I'm going to uh, do, I'm going to uh, navigate to the uh, topics and I'm going to create one topic and that particular topic, let's say, um, 
all that test topic, I'm going to create uh, three partitions and I want to see the logs as well. So let's try to create this one. Okay, uh, successfully created the test topic, right? Anyway, check the logs, what we are getting. Scroll it till bottom. Right, you see topic, test topic with the new configuration and the retention you see has been created and you will see the logs with regard to that. So guys, uh, that is how easy and powerful uh, way to create and manage your Kafka cluster. And definitely you can see, uh, we can you can do more stuff with that. For instance, uh, drill down to these topics, what are the partitions and it gives you a better visibility to manage your Kafka cluster. And uh, definitely you can play with it. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Have a nice day, thank you.